hi guys welcome once again so today i'm going to do a review of this a great masterpiece from hp this is a hp lightbook a20 g3 so this is how it looks like as you can see from outside from far for a look there's something special on this screen which is not usual on most of uh, the hp lightbook a20 g3 i'll just explain it later so right on the table you see underneath it we have another laptop yeah there's a difference in about a few inches just to be precise this is the hp lightbook 840 g3 and you can see from these two laptops there's almost a very like a hundred percent similarities just apart from size yeah so i know my i normally call this 840 g3 the bigger brother to this 820 g3 this 840 g3 is mostly preferred by uh, the male gender well, this A20 G3 is preferred by the female gender simply because it's small. Uh, it can easily fit in the, the female gender backpack compared to the 40 G3. But the 40 G3 is just 14 inch, while this one is 12.5 inches. Yeah, everything else looks exactly the same. Let me just open this A20 G3. Just have a closer look at it. See, everything else is just the same. No big difference. Have a look at the keyboard. The the trackpad the speaker's position nothing even the hinges you have these here still have it there yeah no big difference ports just have a quick look no big difference underneath them no big difference yeah so today we are not going to talk about the 2840 g3 because we had a special request from one of our great followers great subscribers here uh, she requested me to do a review of the HP Lightbook A20 G3 and specifically one that has backlight keyboard. And uh, you see, uh, if you want to know that your laptop has a backlight keyboard or the laptop that you're purchasing has a backlight keyboard, I normally advise you to look for this indication of something that looks like this. Especially in HP, you'll have something that looks like you'll have this key. See this key? So it's normally around here or around F12 here for HP. So if you see these, then that means your laptop has a backlight keyboard. But if you don't see that in any of the keys, then definitely you don't have a backlight keyboard. There's no need to press those shortcuts that you normally see. Those videos that you see on YouTube, uh, people pressing one, two, three, and then they press on something, then they see backlight, that won't happen. So this is what you have to ensure you check on that. So now we have the HP Lightbook 20 g 3 here. And the one that I have has a touch screen. You can see? That's why you see this screen is so glossy. There's some uh, fingerprint or stains on the screen, but that won't worry us today because we just want to see what this machine entails, how strong is it, how good it is, uh, <coughs> which class of people is it specifically designed for. So as usual, uh, by body design, on top of here, you see we have the silver. This is the aluminum alloy on top, yeah but uh, it's silver, nice finishing. And then we have the steel, we still have here the old HP logo right there, not bad though. And then here we have uh, another aluminum alloy on the keyboard side. This is how the keyboard is, you can see how there. We'll talk about the keyboard later. Then underneath it, we have magnesium alloy, on the bottom, yeah? for the bottom cover. The ventilation is so good. This is to allow inflow of air through the laptop and then we have outflow of air through this port this for outflow of air then you have these four uh see these rubbers here and then these two on top are a bit raised as you can see you can see there they're a bit raised this helps the laptop when it's on the table yeah you get proper airflow underneath it so that it doesn't overheat when you're using it and then its other function is to enable proper grip on the table so that it doesn't slide off easily on the table. That's why these rubbers, we have them here and here. They're so important. So now, in terms of port, this side we have the HP Blue Pin charger. <coughs> Let me find one for you. Yeah, so Blue Pin charger is one that looks like this. This is the Blue Pin charger. It goes in through here. Yeah. And then here, we have... See right here, we have a SIM card slot. SIM card slot, see it's written SIM card. So you can use your SIM card on this laptop because it's support for G uh, LTE data. So you can plug in your SIM card and use 
data from your SIM card instead of using Wi-Fi or hotspot from a mobile phone. Just plug in your SIM card right there. Then you have this the docking port. We have RJ45 port that's supposed to be here. Unfortunately here, this has a broken uh, port. It need to be fixed. This is for RJ45. Then you have USB 3.0 port here. You have audio jack uh, microphone combo port right here. Then here we have SD card or uh, memory card reader slot right here. You can see. Memory card just directly from your camera, the size of your camera memory. If you are somebody who does video editing or photo photography, you can just slide in the memory card right there. So this is just a lead to cover cover the port. Then we have display port. So unfortunately for it 20G3, just as in the 40G3, they normally don't come with HDMI port but display port. It's a port that closely resembles HDMI, you can see how it is, but it's not HDMI. One side looks like HDMI, but this side is straight. So this is display port. So the interesting thing here is that we have the USB-C port. USB-C port is so interesting because uh, it's a dual-way port. You can use this port uh, to like transfer video, transfer data, because it's a high-speed port. It's a Thunderbolt port for high uh, for charging, transferring data at high speeds. It's a very very useful port in these modern day laptops. Then on the left hand side we have ventilation port as usual. It's supposed to be placed on the left hand side for proper cooling or let's say maybe you're using a mouse on the table like this. Then let me just find a mouse if I have one. Unfortunately I don't have a mouse right here. But let's assume you're using a mouse on the table. Then most of the time if you're a person who is right handed you'll be using a mouse on this side. So let's assume your laptop was emitting heat from this side and you're using a mouse like this. That would be so uncomfortable. That's why they decided to place the heat or the cooling port ventilation port on the left hand side where uh, it's rare you'll find your hand al along that place because there's actually a lot of heat being emanated from this side then you have vga port can be useful if you still have uh, external output display that uses vga like the old uh, hdmi old uh, tfts and tvs you have another usb 3.0 ports so you only have two usb 3.0 ports here one here and one on this side yeah then we have this slot here, SD card slot, slot. This is not so important because I know like 99% uh, of the people in this world uh, do not use this port. I even don't understand why they still insist putting it here because most of you guys, I'm very sure you've used this laptop, some of you that have used it, and you've never used this port. Actually, you've never seen even something that goes through this port. Maybe if you've seen anything that goes through the port, you can tell us in the comment section, but I'm 99.99 sure that none of you use that port. So, yes, let me just turn it on so that you see the other things. And before I turn it on, in terms of security features, I have fingerprint scanner right here. And then this laptop supports TPM 2.0 uh, security on the, on the motherboard. So therefore, the security is more advanced and it's much safer, even at the BIOS level. Yeah. So let me just turn it on, then you see. What, how fast or what happens then. So as usual, you have to count. Yeah, there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's about 11, 12 seconds to turn on. How good is that? I think that is so good. And uh, maybe some of you, you have a lot of uh, uh, maybe booting at around five seconds, six seconds, 12 seconds, not that bad, not that bad. So it's on. And I uh, just forgot to talk about the hinges. You see the hinges are pretty good. Yeah, it's so stiff. It's only that it can flex to 80 degrees. See how it is. It cannot flex to 80 degrees. That's something that I don't like. Uh, I don't love laptops that maybe flex up to that. Almost one, one, this is about 160 degrees. I prefer them going to 80 degrees because maybe let's assume you're using it while standing. We want to show something on your side. It's better when the screen is flat on the screen when both of you are standing. Yeah. So, uh, let's have a look at this backlit keyboard. This, this is what made us to review this laptop. So, have a look at the keyboard. You see how the light distribution is perfect. Yeah, you can see there's 
Paclet. And then the travel distance of these keys. This is what's always important. I know Lenovo uh, designed some of the best uh, keyboards, but on this A20 G3, I don't know the keyboard that I have here. You know, these laptops, they vary. Yeah, because most of them you get they are refurbished so you found the keyboard that you have it's different from the keyboard that maybe your friend has because some of them are refurbished by different companies and the keyboard that they place there are of different qualities yeah so they might differ a bit but the one that i have here the keyboard feel is so so nice though there's that pressing you can see it's like some somehow sinking in but i can assure you that when you're typing on this keyboard then your fingers won't get like you won't get tired or you won't feel uh, a bit worn out easily it will take a lot of time because it's so so comfortable yeah this trackpad this okay yeah okay the trackpad here we have the click pad right here and the trackpad this is so so small uh i prefer it being a bit bigger as we have in the macbooks and ones the macbook remember you have those are 13 in the small ones but the trackpad is big up to around point somewhere here to here so big this is so small but it's good because i can see here it's of glass surface therefore it doesn't get worn out easily if even you use, if you use it for maybe let's say even five years consistently it won't easily get worn out yeah and then it supports multi gestures that means that you can just use a your single hand mm, to do some of the things that you'll need a mouse to do like holding and scrolling on the screen yeah it will be easier to scroll you just use your two fingers like this and then you scroll on the screen if you want to magnify something just use your two fingers again to magnify yeah so just with your one hand you can do so many stuffs on this trackpad if you have one let's say maybe you're browsing you're reading something you want to scroll there's no need to right click and then you drag drag no just use your two fingers drag or up and down you see how comfortable and easy that is and then it's so addictive once you realize that step that's all you'll be doing speakers we have their upward firing the speakers are so good they're supported by bang and olsen see here they're designed by bang and olsen you can see right there i don't know if it's visible but you can see there's bang and olsen here on the screen let me just try to get it closer yeah bang and olsen this is the audio company that i've designed the audio system on this machine the speakers are very very crispy good good sound emanating from it so for entertainment purposes or you're just listening to a podcast or what you have good speakers right there so now as i told you earlier for the keyboard uh if you want to if you if you want to know if your laptop supports backlit keyboard make sure that you check on this key right here and to turn off the backlight you just use see the icon that we have here it's something like a box on the f3 so that means you'll have to use fn combined with that to turn it off so let's try it see here and then on fn you see it's a bit dimmer then there it goes off if you want to turn it on fn first then yeah so that is it remember this backlight normally consumes a lot of power so if you're using your laptop maybe in a well lit environment outside just ensure that it's off turn it off so as to conserve power so now let's have a look at the screen resolution because the one that we have is such remember they come in two varieties there's one that is non touch screen and the way you have this black bezel here is the way that you'll have your, the one that is non touch so it's the bezel is just as thick as this but now that one won't be touch screen you won't have this glass surface that you have here on this one and remember this screen has anti-glare support anti-glare means like if you're using it in a well lit room or where there's a lot of reflection then it can be able to absorb those reflections so that it doesn't they don't reflect uh, affect your eyes or your visibility when you're using the laptop so screen resolution as usual if you want to confirm just come to the desktop right click then come to display settings the display settings come here the resolution you see here we have 1920 by 1080 so some of them especially the non-touched version usually have the hd screens that is 1366 by 768 but these touch models you see here we have the full hd screen solutions which is so good if you're person who maybe you're using this laptop to do uh photo editing or just light video editing you're just a beginner then this laptop is equally good for you, you can start with this before you upgrade so what makes me say so Let's just have a look at the system properties of this A20 G3. Shift, Escape, as usual, 
then you come to the tax manager the tax manager remember we are using windows 11 here so the tax manager just come to this icon right here we have there and then here you all get to see all the uh, properties of your laptop things that cannot be edited so first things first let's have a look at the cpu so the cpu that we have here it's a uh, koi 5 6300 u uh, with a base speed of 2.4 gigahertz you can see actually the base speed you can see here we have a base speed of 2.5 gigahertz we have a single socket two cores four logical processors the cores might be so small uh, not bad for entry levels but at least we have four logical processors not so bad compared to the modern day uh, laptops that have around some have 24 logical processors some have 16 it all depends but those are the most powerful ones in the modern world this is not bad compared to the previous older generations the fourth generations so four logical processors is not that bad remember the base speed is 2.5 but you can turbo boost up to 3.7 gigahertz which we normally reach those speeds uh, for what we normally do or the work that normally do in the office then the memory here this is interesting see the number of slots used we have one out of two slots and see here we have 8 gb of ram so it means we have a single slot that is empty and in that slot you can fix an 8 gb of ram to make it 16 or if you can get to 16 gb of ram then you can make it 16 16 times 2 to make it 32 gb of ram for maximum support then disk type disk here as you can see here we have a samsung uh, ssd samsung see right there you have samsung and here the capacity is 239 that is 256 gb ssd hope it's with, clear and then type here you can see the ssd so this is where you can get to see the type of storage device that you have if it is hard disk you'll have it here written hdd if it is ssd you'll have it written the ssd like the one that i have here yeah so and one thing i love about this machine is something that uh, i'm not going to show you unfortunately on this video because this laptop is sealed and uh, I don't want to open the seal but inside or underneath this machine we have two slots for storage we have one for m2 ssd the one that looks like a ram one like, that looks like this then we have another slot for either m uh, 2.5 sata ssd the one that looks like this hard disk yeah so it can fit in this and it can also fit in this there's somewhere around i think it's around this place or this place underneath it then they are normally fixed like this so if you happen to open it you'll see this SD has just overcrossed the hard disk underneath it so it's somehow hybrid so you can have 256 SSD and then one terabyte of hard disk where you have so much data to store in it so now the battery life uh, for example remember the battery life of, the battery life of a laptop mainly depends on the screen brightness yeah so with these high brightness levels that we have right here uh you can get to have a look at the battery life you see it's at 65 percent then we have three hours 19 minutes remaining let's have a look at the brightness levels uh unfortunately here we can't adjust the brightness levels because we don't have the display driver so it means the dis the brightness levels right now are at 100 percent because we can't adjust them but after installing the graphic drivers, they're the one that uh, normally regulate the power consumption of the laptop depending on the brightness and so many stuff. If you install it, you realize that uh, what we have here, these three uh, hours, 19 minutes, if you happen to reduce the brightness, let's say by half, then you'll even double the time remaining. So it can go up to seven hours, eight hours, depending on what you're doing. And if you're doing heavy work, then be sure that your battery won't last that much. It will last around four hours. Yeah, but just doing light work, uh, researching, browsing, office work, professional work, then it will definitely last you up to a day. So it's a good purchase. And uh, if you're somebody looking for a, a laptop that is can do your school work with it, office work, just light office work, a uh, light photo editing, light video editing, then a 20G3 is definitely not a bad pick for you that is all and if there's something else i've left or something if you have a question let's meet in the comment section and as usual don't forget to leave a like on this video and most importantly feel free to comment don't feel shy yeah, i'm waiting for those comments i'm willing to reply to them immediately see you next time don't forget to subscribe on another video like this one